Okay, picked up this Holt Industries. This is a vacuum bleeder. It works off a of Venturi effect from compressed air, so you have to have a compressor to use it. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. It was $89, and I forgot to use my 25% off coupon. So I was a little annoyed with myself after I figured that out, but it's a done deal now. Uh, I still might like this better than the other brands like the Motive, and there's a couple others that have actual adapters that are pressure bleeders. There's some advantages to pressure bleeders. I think for having this and not having to buy all the other adapters, this is going to be nice. I'm going to try it out. I may not like it, but I might like it. We're going to downregulate this to like 120. Nice quick connector. So to turn this on, Not very loud. But it is sucking. Let's just see if we can clean this stuff out here. Okay, we've got most of it. Now we're going to take this hose, this adapter, feed it up over the tire, and I'll slide behind there and connect it. Now we're going to open the valve here. That'll allow fluid to refill the master. So it is sucking some fluid through because that level is definitely going down. See the bubbles? Hear the bubbles? Okay. Took the tire off. That way I can flip the wrench all the way over here to open the bleeder the maximum amount. The fluid coming out is still green. We'll turn on the valve here. So you can see it is still coming. But it's not clear yet. So it's a little hard to see if this is clear fluid or not, because it's, sometimes it's so aerated, it looks kind of just foamy white almost. So let's just shut it off and see if this fluid that builds up in here looks clear. Kind of let those bubbles settle out of it a little bit. And it looks clear. That looks like good brake fluid right there, doesn't it? So we're going to settle for that. What I'm going to do before I close the nipple is we're going to turn this on and keep it on and then close the nipple and then we'll turn this off. And hopefully that way, that'll keep any air bubbles from entraining back in. Just leave the suction on, it clears the line, that's kind of nice. So it is easier to get to the nipples with the tires off. I traditionally don't do that. I just get under the car and hook them up and do my thing. But I got to rotate the tires anyway, so. Looks like good clean brake fluid to me. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Turn it on. Close the valve.
done. And it's nice that that Venturi is so quiet. It's a lot quieter than I thought it would be. You can still hear bubbles bubbling up through here as fluid drips down and the bubbles come around to replace the fluid that's gone down. Okay, I expect it to go all the way to the floor initially, but we'll start it up here. And the instructions just say clean it with a compatible solvent. So you obviously wipe the outside down, but the inside, whatever compatible solvent is, we're just going to use some denatured alcohol here. Just swish it around and pour it out. Okay, I'm just going to leave it open for a little bit there for, for that denatured alcohol to evaporate out of there. So it's little unit did a good job. I'm pretty happy with it for the price. And you know, uh, the brake pedal built pressure right away. So... I don't think there's any air in it. I test drove it, it breaks fine. In fact, it, it seems to break firmer than it was before. And I don't know if that's just a psychological thing that I just think, oh, I changed the brake fluid so it's gonna break better. And I think it's breaking better. Or if it really breaks better, I don't know. It breaks just fine. But I did get a lot of the trash out of there and I'm happy about that. I might flush it again just because this is so easy. Um, again, uh, in a couple weeks and uh, see if I get more junk out. So good, but it, you know, this makes it so easy. I don't have an excuse. My mechanic buddy says, change your brake fluid every two years. Don't go by mileage. And so now I have no excuse at all, right? Um, if you can find this thing, I wanna say when I first saw this a few months ago, our Harbor Freight or Harbor Freight had it on sale for 69. And if you could get a 20% off coupon or 25% off coupon if you're an inside track member, that would be even, you know, that would be a good savings. You could save a lot of money. I paid 89 for it, so, but I'm still very happy at that price. I don't have to buy all the adapters for the other vehicles. We have several vehicles here on the property and. Um, this is this is going to work well, I think. And I'm going to go around and look for leaks. And that one looks good. Okay, so after one use, you know it's done a good job. This seems to be fairly robust. This is looks like good quality connectors. Um, the Venturi's pretty straightforward. It can't really break, I don't think. Um, this thing is nice. It seems to be of good quality plastic, or whatever it is, polymer. And uh, I'll have to throw that fluid away. But it comes with the adapters. Some extra nipple things, if you break them or they wear out, that's nice that it comes with extra parts. The hoses I'm just hanging over the trash can right here just so they can drain out and drain nice and clean. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. And so I just use it on one vehicle today, but I'll have to use it on some more vehicles before I give it uh, two thumbs up. But so far it's worked really well. All right.